Now, hello everyone, welcome back to my lab. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate an AccuVant speed controller. Well guys, before we get too much further, I just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. And if this does benefit you, do please consider uh, hitting the thumbs up and subscription buttons, that would really help me out. Now with that out of the way, what you see on the screen here is of course my new MST drift car. And this drift car has an AccuVant system in it. Now I had some trouble getting this calibrated to the transmitter, so I wanted to give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to get that set up. My first tip is unplug the fan. Things tend to work more consistently and more predictably when that fan unit is not plugged in. Now our first step of course is to make sure that our transmitter is powered on and a battery is plugged up to our speed controller. Our next step will be to hold down the power button. We will not be using the set button at all in the speed controller, only the power button that's located here. So we'll press it until the lights on the speed controller blink three times before releasing that button. So hold down the set button, or the power button rather, not the set button. And one, two, three, and release to a blinking green light on the speed controller. We'll press the power button to confirm the neutral position. The light will begin to blink blue. Now we'll hold the throttle full on our transmitter and press the power button again to find that the red light over here will begin blinking. Then press the reverse button, uh, reverse command rather, and press the power button again. And the, light will, the lights will begin blinking blue and red. And then all the lights will blink before the system comes on. Now a trick for you, when you once you have these things calibrated is reverse can feel a little bit finicky. So you'll want to make sure that you engage your brakes and release for a two count before applying your reverse. The same thing will work for going in forward. So uh, once you've applied your brake, release to neutral for a two count and go into forward. So I'll show you an example here. So we'll pull the trigger on the transmitter, apply the brakes, release, one, two, then you'll have reverse. The same thing going forward. You have, want to make sure you have that two count before going into your forward position. Well guys, we'll put a wrap on the video here. I hope you can see how easy it is to calibrate the speed controller on the AccuVance once you know the little tips and tricks. If you've benefited from this video in any way, do please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. Also, don't forget to hit that bell if you want to see my future content. Well, that'll wrap it up for today, and I hope to see you in the next one.